YouTube. YouTube and the world has lost an amazing person, <laughs> musician, friend, brother, son, lover, whatever you want to call him. He was amazing. His music was amazing and he touched so many lives. I will miss you, Nathan. My good friend Nathan Wills has passed away today. He was such a positive person. If you knew him, he was just a joy to be around. Um, his happiness was infectious. It was as soon as you was around him, he would you, you would instantly feel happy because he was so positive all the time. And he really had a great impact on me. True inspiration. <laughs> One of my biggest idols. And if it wasn't for people like Nathan, then I wouldn't be making these videos. I wouldn't have the confidence because he taught me a great deal of confidence. And oh, he's, he's had a great impact on me. He was a really good friend and I've shared some amazing experiences with him. We were just eating dinner and Corey was on his phone and suddenly he just threw everything down and I didn't know what was happening. Um, we just got a message um, on Nathan Will's Facebook from his father saying that Nathan died. I don't even want to say Nathan was such a kind, beautiful person because it doesn't seem right saying past tense, but he was so great and he was always so supportive of everything and he made beautiful music and I, I still don't really believe it's true, but I just, I had to tell you what was happening. Um, I want, to, I want to tell you a little bit about my friend Nathan Wills, who, for some reason that I will never understand, uh, took his own life a few days ago. Two days ago, I was traveling uh, back home from a job in Montreal, and I was in the airport in Montreal, and I, I launched uh, Skype on my phone, which I almost never do. Um, and I was delighted to find a message from my buddy Nathan in the UK. He said, um, Hey brother, would love to connect up for a chat sometime, share some good vibes. That was the message I got from him. And uh, I thought, oh, that's great. I haven't heard from him in a while, and you know, when I get back to LA, I'll give him a call. Uh, a few hours later, on, on a layover in Chicago, I got a message from his friend and longtime companion, Sarah Parker, who informed me that Nathan is dead. He killed himself. Uh, now, I know there's nothing that I could do to but still, I felt uh, horrible that I didn't see his message sooner and that I didn't get in touch with him. I mean, even for selfish reasons, I would have loved to have just had the opportunity uh, to talk with him one, one last time. It turns out that uh, he was reaching out to a lot of his friends. Um, I think probably just to say goodbye you know, that week without actually saying goodbye. I met Nathan and Sarah through uh, our mutual friends, Corey and Kate, S&P Films and Caters 1-7. Um, I, I liked Nathan immediately and Sarah, just both great. And Nathan, you know, always had a smile on his face. He was fun loving, really friendly, fun guy, very talented musician. He had a great laugh. He was a great vlogger. He's just one of those type of people that you like right when you meet them. Of course, uh, unbeknownst to me, he also suffered from apparently crippling depression. But that's the amazing thing about life, is that it is constantly filled with happiness and sadness and everything in between. And that's what makes life so wonderful. Nathan was a great guy. I was only lucky enough to enjoy his company just a few times, have lunch with him. And I, he left a lasting impression. Uh, a lasting joyful impression on me, like, like I'm sure he did with so many people that he knew.
good day people it is still wonderful and sunny and it's uh yeah it's been very good um hope you're all well hope you're all centered in your heart and uh have have a wonderful day thanks for watching cheers guys